One, two, three. How am I coming through? Are you here? Because I am near. <laughs> I have to get this hand of a bitch out here. And I think that the most important is to unscribble the scribbles. <laughs> it's already coming to part. How did my table thing get all skewed? I don't know if you know that, but you definitely can't film a nice video with a skewed tablecloth. Uh, figured that it would be easier for me to lift this off uh, in a more natural manner. That's how I would assume someone would lift it off the thing. And also because, what, how am I supposed to lift this printer out of here with my back? I mean, with my legs and not my back. If I walk slowly, then the death comes slower. Ooh. I can't open the front. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even wanna lie to you on my life here, bro. It can't move. Uh, we crack open the sides so we can get our fingers underneath it or something. This stuff always heavy. I just said it's to you, just, George. I thought it was stuck down, but it's that it's heavy. heavy. It's like. Ready? How are we gonna get the foam out once we've both. Uh, this is, wait, hold on. We didn't think about that. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Perfect. Good job. Look at this thing. Ooh. <laughs> he is a nice printer. It looks very nice. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Oh, Carbon filter. The same carbon filter, it looks exactly like the other ones as well. So it means that they should be interchangeable. A box of stuff where I'm hoping my SD card is in. Ooh, look at that. Ooh! That's a nice looking one. Damn, son, it's probably still a terrible SD card inside, but it looks cool at least. Did you get this today as well? Yeah. Beautiful. And also, it looks really nice with the last one, look. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, film, film this bit. Also, it can dry the model before it cures it. So you can run it on a, a drying cycle, and then after it's done drying, after a certain amount of time that you set it, then it goes to curing, and then it just looks like that, like that. <laughs> it's cool, I love it. It costs electricity though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're gonna ruin the shop, bro. I'm sorry, I didn't ruin the shop, doing better. Oh, look, and now I'm in the reflection. Hello, dude. What is that, an antenna? It's an antenna, I think so. You can fly at FPV. <laughs> really? Fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you can print at FPV. You just like. Got ya. Yeah, it's pretty cool, really. There's this cool, like. Oh, scraping in the thing, which I don't use. This is a really cool one. And I wanted to say. Uh, GK3 Ultra, so everyone knows that I spend a lot of money on a 3D printer when I'm scraping off my stuff in my videos. The build plate. We gotta see this. Oh my god, I was wondering if it was gonna be like really big and overly heavy, but it's not. Like, that's actually really nice. It's the same surface as the GK2. Exactly the same surface. Do you know what? I'm pretty sure that they sent me a video to show me how to open these. They've done it every time and I've never watched that video. Nothing wrong here. Nothing wrong here. Ah. Oh, good. Look. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to turn it on first. <laughs> but, you know, it's safer. Like this. I don't know if this is the exact material that the final... Because what I have is essentially a prototype. But it's, it's, it's kind of like the first production version 
and things are going to change. So I don't know if it's the exact, but I know that things are going to change. I have actually a whole list of things that are going to change, which I should probably mention in my video. If I'm going to make a video that's any sort of information or at any point. Look at this! Look at this! It's oh, it shows you got a level. A, this thing so you can level a It's a level a It's absolutely I should figure out where is the manual because I don't actually know how to use this. Before, before you start, after receiving the items, if any accessories are missing, please contact the customer service. Case of emergency, immediately shut off the power. Air purification, active carbon, iodine value equals 1,000. Mounting directions, arrow. Like that. It's a good thing it just sticks in. You don't even have to try. Okay, let's pull this off. So unlike you, I know! Is there a cover on here though? They said there was, but it doesn't look like. To me... Right. It doesn't look like one. I had a clue. Where did one? But I reckon there isn't. So. Ah, it's a lot! Whoa! Oh, whoa. That's cool. It's got lots, bro. <laughs> it's got a cob. Because I thought they were lying in the advert that we saw, and because it was lit up in the advert as well. And we thought they, they put their own ones. Oh, but they didn't. It's, it's got, got loads. I didn't even notice that lot. I just thought it was just movie magic lot. It's got lot, bruh. Oh, it's got lot. It's exactly the same as the original one, but it's smooth now. Let's go to Z axis and let's just move him to the top. Can't be formed after clicking the icon. Oh, the claw. Very clever of them. Now you gotta put those things in. Blood down! That's so stuck! I like that. Yes, yeah, so you put it in there like that. There we go. You put it in there like that so that you can. So you take them off and then. <coughs> like that. <laughs> and then it just droobalubers back in. Then you come back after it's droobalubered. Take them off. See, that's just like that. Boom, he's in, boom, just like that. This guy, he's gotta go in there and then ah, clip in, okay. I can see how it clips in. I like it, uniformation, guys. It's the future of 3D printing, I'm telling you. Like that. I don't like the sound, though, there we go. And then we put that thing in. <laughs> look, it goes in nicely though. Look, when you get there, look, it's got like a a little push in. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I like it. It's very. Let me plug him in. Oh, it feels so nice. I like mm. this. Some classic more models to pay. 
I do just want to quickly make quick mention that I completely forgot to get my settings uh, for this printer from Uniformation. So I asked Ross from Fohammer uh, for a little bit of help getting those settings in Cheetah Box for me, and he obliged. What a freaking amazing dude! So go check him out as well. I will try to leave a link for his channel in my description too. As we round out the end of my unboxing video, I want to say already, I have already seen some prints coming out of this machine and they look incredible. I like this machine already a lot. I will have a more specific video with specs and facts and prints and all the rest of it uh, very soon. If you want to buy this machine on pre-order, it's on sale right now. Go check out the link down below. If you use my code and add an NFEP into your cart, you will get one for free. Also, I know this video had nothing to do with patrons, but I still want to thank my patrons for supporting me and keeping me in this weird job that I get to do. And uh, while I'm here thanking people, thank you to Uniformation for sending me the machine so that I can test it. I really do. Honestly, I appreciate the situation I'm in so much. I, I genuinely never thought I'd be in this place ever and I can't thank everybody enough uh, for putting me here and uh, it's time for me to go and do some real videos and print some more models. Thank you for everything. Goodbye. Oh, and if you don't like it, feel free to fuck off. <laughs>